Thanks for taking a look at Variato in our remote employee monitoring and supervision solutions. In March of this year, a new reality set in. And as the pandemic spread, office workers everywhere were sent to work from their home offices. But we know that that's not gonna be the case forever. And a new hybrid work environment is emerging. As a matter of fact, in April of this year, 59% of companies already said that they expect that their work from home policies will remain in effect after the pandemic ends. So the question becomes, how are you gonna manage people in this new norm? How do you decide who's productive and who's not? Who's truly engaged or who is drifting away from the company? And what metrics will you use to determine which department is succeeding and which is struggling? That's where Variato Vision comes in. It's a powerful tool that lets you see exactly what's going on with all employees, whether they use a Mac, PC, Android, or Chromebook. From one centralized vision management console, you will have a clear view of exactly what's going on within the organization. At a glance, you can see a department and exactly where people are struggling, where people are succeeding, who's disengaging, who needs training, who's possibly working too hard, who's not working hard enough. All of that information is now at your fingertips. And you will also have complete control. You'll have control over who and what is monitored and recorded. I'm now gonna turn the presentation over to Suzanne, who's gonna show you the product in action. Hello, thank you for taking the time to watch this short video of how our solution called Variato Vision helps you to monitor productivity of your employees, to know what they're doing, whether they're remote or in the office. So let's begin by looking at the platform and how it's organized. Generally, you will come in and view the users. So all the users in your organization, whether they're grouped or if you wanna look at a particular user using some of the filters, you'll see here, we're gonna focus on Andy Bernard. His work schedule is 40 hours. It is set by um, the, the system and you can change those by group as well. You can see the total login time, the idle time, the active time, and the activity log. And we'll get back to the activity log in a minute, but this gives you uh, a quick view of how much productivity, unproductivity, or idle time he has. And I will go through that in more detail. His productivity score is impacted based on all this information that we're seeing here. The rank, and then of course, all the screenshots as it related to Andy. So let's look at the activity log in particular. The activity log is broken down as we looked at earlier. Unproductive is pink, productive is blue, yellow is neutral, and gray is idle. Every day of the week, you can quickly see where Andy's been spending his time. So we're gonna drill down into each one of these days to figure out what were those activities that are considered productive on each one of the days? Those are the scores that are actually going to be affecting the results for Andy for the week. So let's drill down and look at the week as a whole and look at the hours that they logged in when he checked out. The activity log will actually now give you the details of that particular day, three hours and 31 minutes was uh, considered active time, but was it productive? So you can quickly just look by the pink that we were saying was unproductive, unproductive, and then here on Thursday, he had a really good day. He was actually working 32% of the time in productive applications. So by simply clicking on the screen, you can see a pie chart and broken down by the time spent watching in YouTube. He spent 10% of his time playing poker, 7% in a CRM application called Salesforce, 7% in Excel, 5% using the calculator, and then finally looking at the weather 5% of the time. And almost 60% was idle. You can look at it in more detail by looking at the exact time frame where he actually used those different applications. Okay, so you can quickly see exactly what's going on. Now, one of the things that uh, is important to know is that you're in full control of everything that you need to do and identify what you need to, to monitor or to collect as information. So let's look at what that means. So just quickly, 
some of the features of collecting the data. You can collect the data, you can quickly see what you can turn on or turn off. You can choose to record certain screenshots or certain file tracking events just by sliding it here. So this is makes it super simple for you to know that you can choose to take screenshots at certain intervals or even at the bottom here you can see that you can block certain categories using our web filtering features so understanding that if you want to block certain websites there's some industry standards today that clarif classifies these particular websites so you can flag those in terms of blocking them specifically by the categories you can block them by their own url which is the website or establish your whole your own whitelist. In addition to the settings that we were just looking at when it came to productivity setting, you might be wondering how do we determine that a pro that an application is productive? So every time a user is added, we collect all the applications that they've been running or we collect the websites that they're using. And each one of these can be flagged as either neutral productive or unproductive and that's what we use to show this the the distribution of activities plants and zombies of course would be classified as unproductive spotify i would leave as neutral or you can flag it as unproductive but generally just listening to music is actually a good a good thing to do but any of the other applications. And the good thing is you only need to do this once. You can pick which applications might be different for a different department, and you only set this up once and it's automatic. You control everything from here. If I go back to looking at the different dashboard capabilities, you can look at the alert logs. You can look at the data view. You can also set reports. Reports are something that you could schedule and get a report sent to you on a regular basis. We already have quite a few reports already there. You can add a few and schedule them based on your needs that you can define right here. On the, on the dashboard, we also have data view. So looking at the data view quickly, you can determine a particular application that was used or you can even go back to the chart view and look at a summary for managers to look at. This will give you a quick view. Any of these charts are live, so you can have a click through. You can add a chart. We start with the productivity ones as a default, but you can change and add as you please. If uh, you need more information and would like to have more detailed demonstration, we'd be more than happy to assist you.